Uh, my name is Verlia. I am the local outreach coordinator here at GCU. Um, my team is over 18 different ministries here on campus or off campus. Um, we have student leaders that run each and every one of those ministries. And so that's basically how we go and serve our local community is through those 18 ministries. So my team has about 115 student leaders on it. Um, there's probably about 70 returners and 30 to 35 open spots. Um, and there's head leaders, your student leaders, and then there's volunteers. Um, usually volunteers turn into student leaders and then your student leaders eventually probably become head leaders. And so that's pretty much how that works. So your general responsibilities or duties would be um, being in contact with whomever your ministry partner is, whether that be like Habitat for Humanity, you're basically in contact with them, important of contact for them. You set up um, your volunteers, um, the days of the weeks that you want to do your ministries, and you would also be the one in like control of how many volunteers you want at each and every one of your ministries. Um, they range anywhere from like Habitat to Humanity all the way down to like Ohana, which is like so basically we build houses all the way down to like foster care. And in between there, there's like sex trafficking, there's um, soccer. We have like three or four soccer ministries, um, which is a lot of fun. And then we do like Parkman, which is we go into the neighborhoods around GCU and you just bring a bunch of kids with you and you hang out at this park and you provide snacks and story times about Jesus. And then we have Canyon Kids, which is also um, kind of like year round VBS. And that happens at a local church down the street as well. So those are some of the things that we do for local. I would say for this role, um, the time commitment is not excessive. So it's probably like five hours a week. Um, and then your GPA does have to be a 2.6 or higher. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. You just have to make sure you make it to all your team meetings, 2.6, um, and you have to go to every chapel. And other than that, that's pretty much all you have and that's required of you. I, I think um, time management is important. Um, you do have like a couple different team meetings. Um, we have all leader meetings, head leader meetings, and then you would have a meeting within like your own team that you're on. Um, and so I would say time management is pretty important. Um, but like personally for me, I would say outgoing and being able to have fun and adaptable. Um, local outreach this past year, our slogan was champions adjust. So no matter what was going on, like, hey, like champions adjust. And so just being able to be adaptable, fun, time management, and I don't know, wanna be here and serve. And so I think those are the things that I would say. I would probably also say like burnout or something. Um, I think just because when it comes to local, everyone loves supporting everyone's ministries. So you will probably be at like five different ministries a week that have nothing to do with yours, but you just wanna be there because your friends are there or you're supporting their ministry or you might be doing something with like um, Rehoboth, but you love foster care. And so just wanting to be involved in all those things is the only way I could see like burnout occurring, but it would be like, burnout due to wanting to be so supportive and so involved, which is so sweet. And so I guess I would just say managing your time better and like understanding, hey, this week, maybe I can't go to that and I can only show up for mine and like what my responsibility is and, and knowing that that's okay. And so I think that's like probably what I would say, but the best way to probably overcome that would just being self-aware and knowing like, hey, like this week, that's like just not something I can do. And knowing that and just like, showing up to the things that you know you have to show up to. Um, so yeah, so what we have to offer is that um, during the summer you do come back a little bit early and we will do like four days of um, student leader training. And so we do training for like trauma. Um, we do fun things where we also do like scoot and boots came. So I guess that counts as like training, um, but just different things like that. And then also you do get one-on-ones weekly with whomever your staff member is. And that can look so different. Like um, Aaron, he was doing something where he was discipling um, a student, but like through a book basically. So like they went through a Bible study together. Um, my other coworker likes to journal. She was journaling with one of her girls and they would talk about the things they were journaling. And I'm the coffee one. So I'm like, hey, like let's go check out some of the new coffee shops. Like, so just doing things like that and getting to know you based off of those things. Um, but I would say like those are probably our best resources are the one-on-ones and the like training that you come and get.
probably like a week before school starts. So um, if you're involved in like homeless ministry or any of our foster care, you get training on that. So like no photos can be taken um, at the homeless at St. Vincent's. That's where we do like homeless ministry. You get a tour of like the campus that it's on. Um, you get acquainted with the staff there you get um, acquainted with like the police officer that they have on site as well. And so you just get all of that to help you uh, be able to like do your job the best, depending on what uh, realm of ministry you decide to go into. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you apply for local outreach. It'll be the best thing you do at GCU. And I hope to see you soon.